So let's talk about a video presentation using a whiteboard. So here I have a whiteboard and I'm standing in front of it talking to you. Don't do this sort of thing in front of a real class because the way you interact with people, the way you interact with real people is different to the way you interact with a camera. I'm talking straight to you, I'm not talking to a sea of faces. When you're making a video presentation, you need to be more concise and more direct. When you're talking to a class, it's a different dynamic. You approach things differently, instinctively, and what works in a class situation does not work in a video presentation, and vice versa. One trick, I've put the duster here simply because without the duster, the camera couldn't focus on the whiteboard. It's slightly reflective and it's too featureless and the camera can't figure out what it should be focusing on. And so it was getting me out of focus all the time. So I put the duster there so I could focus on something. Now I'll take the duster away. Next tip, I've marked the corners so that I know what's in shot, what's not in shot. And that's a real help. Uh, if I was doing this for a professional production or a, a more classy production, uh, or rather a not educational production, I would put these a bit further out so they were not in shot. But I want you to see them so that you can see what I've done. Of course, anything, you, any cue you could have that would help to uh, isolate you know, where what's on screen is going to help and stop you drawing off the page. Why would you want to use a whiteboard? You'd want to use a whiteboard because you're a teacher and you're used to using a whiteboard and it's a resource that you've got handy and you're good at using a whiteboard. You're probably better at using a whiteboard than I am. Um, and that's fine. There's all the things you can do in a classroom you can use in a, in a um, whiteboard. You can have special points. Point one and point two. But try not to get involved in paying attention to what you're writing. Remember you're talking back there to the person. You can also do diagrams, you know, you've got your Venn diagrams and whatever other sort of diagrams you wish to do. Here's a tip. Speed up your drawing. If I want to draw a movie camera, I'll speed it up in post-production. When I get to the editing stage, I'll speed it up so that you're not just sitting there watching me drawing laboriously. The speeding up of the video for drawing diagrams can really help to give your production a bit of extra pizzazz. Now I want to introduce you to this uh, simple and effective means of making a video. Um, the person who uh, I like to credit this one to is Vi Hart, who is an American educator who's got a great series on YouTube of mathematical doodles. Which, which make mathematics a lot of fun. One of the key things about this is that you can speed things up. So you can take a complicated diagram. Um, let's look at the diagram of how this is set up. So for example, we have a table and here is the camera. Now the camera is mounted on a tripod that has a horizontal center column so that it can actually go out like that and the camera can be mounted here facing downwards. So we're looking down onto the page. Now, if you don't have a horizontal center column, you can still do it. You can, you can kind of jury rig the tripod so it points down. It's a bit more awkward, um, but it is still possible. Um, another thing you might want is even put a chair on the table and, and have the tripod folded um, so that it's still any kind of way you can think of. I'm sure you can work out a way to get the camera to point down. When you're talking, make sure you leave plenty of gaps because you're going to speed up the video. Your voice is going to go at the same speed. And, if you, and so you're going to have to cut bits of your voice out. Yep, just like that. The Vihart technique.